What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, man, in the last, I don't know if you saw the last one, but I received my first, my first full-sized football helmet in these amazing colours, with these amazing decals. It is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But you know what? I'm still confused whether I'm actually meant to use this or not. Like, I don't know if this is just a, a, a yellow, you know, basic helmet with decals on it, or it's actually made to be a collectible. So, I'm going to do my very best to find out. And to do that, we're going to look at my old mates from Green Gridiron. Jay and Steve, I do believe. So I've written in Riddell Speed, Packers Helmet. And I've seen a video come up, Riddell NFL Helmet Comparison. Authentic versus Blaze versus Replica. So I'm going to click on that and try and learn. And you guys are going to watch it with me. So let's do that. Incredible. Let's learn about it. Can you tell me the difference between these three helmets not looking at the teams? Obviously the teams are no. different here. I mean, not really. The Titans one, I guess, is pretty obvious that it's a blaze. It's a blaze. It's got a visor. It's got a visor. We've got our scale out, and on top of the scale, we've got this Packers helmet. And if you look closely, you'll see. Is that mine? It says Packers up here. Yeah, that's right. It's got a little bumper. Here, this guy's blank. Here, this guy's blank. Okay. Uh, basically, what we're doing, see, is we're going over the difference between a Riddell collectible that's authentic or a Riddell Speed authentic collectible versus a Riddell Speed um, uh, replica. Replica. Okay. And a blaze. Oh, gotcha. And a blaze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the blaze helmets are only available. They are only made in uh, replica. Right. Right. Or as or as replicas. And this Redskins helmet here is a replica as well. But this is what Riddell um, calls their authentic line of helmets. Yeah. And from the outside looking in, it looks extremely close so and i know i'm not the only one to say that people ask all the time why the price difference right so these to give you an idea these start we sell these for uh i think the starting price is 299.99 and up so they're few you spent 300 bucks on me bruh i fucking love this thing man almost like the um the authentic the authentics here are 299 and up and there are a few others that are more expensive. But it's than still that. a collectible. Created, uh, paint schemes or face masks like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers helmet. Gotcha. Is going to be more. Um, versus this guy right here, the replicas, they start at 129 Wow, big price difference. Huge price difference. And for something that looks pretty similar, that's a huge difference. Sure. Right? sure. So we're going to go over what the difference is between this helmet and this helmet, and then you've also got the Blaze helmets, these start at 189 All right. All okay, right. and there's a pretty good reason why these ones cost more. Gotcha. Well. So, first let's go over um, the authentic line. You can see in here. It's the same. It's got to be. Tell you what the weight is. These are coming in at... 3.9 pounds. Make sure this is zeroed out. Coming in at 3.9 pounds. Okay. Okay. And just give you a weight differential here. Well, this will be interesting. The replica. Hey, there you go. 2.5 pounds. Okay. Wow. So I put this on my head before. I don't know if I was meant to. <laughs> we'll see. These look pretty close. Where's all that weight difference, right? They look bad close to me. Yeah. You know, if you look closely, one, this one's gonna be a little bit smaller. Can you tell? I can tell. Tiny bit. Since you said it. Tiny bit. If you don't know, you don't know. Right. The biggest difference, by far, they've got the same chin strap, they've got the same face mask, the paint jobs are legit, the decals are, are legit. You yeah. know? Right. I can take this guy and put this guy on my head. It's pretty tight on me. Um, so, it's basically, you can wear this technically, you can put it on your head. You right. Like I say, you can wear it like a real helmet. Because you can't. This is not designed to be worn on the feet. Okay. So I wasn't wrong in putting this on my head. <laughs> I feel alright now. But I, I couldn't play. It seems. But let's, let's continue. There's warning labels all over this thing. 
Well, you can put it on your head and sit in your living room and yell and scream at the TV apps all day. <laughs> this guy. All right, then. Fuck it. Oh. It's not going on, Steve. Not a... No matter how much I try, it's not going to work. So not only do you have a big plastic zero padding shell in here. Now, this is you, you have so foam tight. You padding here and pretty cheap foam padding. Oh, cheap is that tight. So, you know what? Let me take that back. I'm not going to say cheap. I'm going to oh. say uh, very cost effective. Here. All right. Sure. Um, but in, in, inside this, there's no padding. So the difference in the weight, really, it's all that padding you see here. Like, this is all, for you know, for the most part, this is all real padding in this helmet. It looks, looks good. You know, the shell oh. aren't made out of the same poly part <laughs> that is used on the field, which is one reason why not to use it on the field. Um, you know, it's a Let's go, boys! It's out to sit on the shelf, right? Sure. Woo! If you're buying something and you just want it to sit on the shelf, I gotta tell you. Yeah. Because you can buy two of them. Yeah, and, and then some. Yeah. This legend has sent me a genuine one. Here, you'll see on the back. Turn these around here. So on the authentic, you have. See, to get the NFL. <laughs> this fucking thumbnail is gonna look so good. We're. <laughs> Where are you learning, learning about it? it. It's, you know, it's, it's the warning label. Right? right. And they both have warning labels, except for this is this is the actual warning label that it, it's just it looks a lot more like the authentic warning labels that are worn on the field. Right? It's a beautiful so helmet. Something on both of these helmets, besides num player numbers or specialty decals that might go on the helmets, you're also missing the American flags. That's right. So we, when we sell all of these helmets, we include a free chrome. American flag decal. That's right. Which Do I have one? Of course. Um, no. Put this guy over here. And it's American the, football. How can not have an American flag? And that's regardless of which one of these helmets you buy. Okay. okay. So you see this blaze helmet sitting over here. We got a shock visor in it. So if you buy these from Green Gridiron, any one of these helmets, they all come with a free shock visor. Oh, all three? Yeah. So if you buy this guy, you're going to get a, a chrome mirror shock visor. Yeah. Chrome mirror shock visor, chrome mirror shock visor, any of the ones on the back wall that we sell, chrome mirror shock visor. Damn! A visor so, would be pretty nice. That's a pretty good reason, I think, to buy them from us versus somewhere else. <laughs> okay, sure. And we also throw in, obviously, the flag that I just mentioned. Yep. And when you buy one of these guys, we blaze. We blaze, we also throw on the shield. Yeah. Nice. All right. I love those. Now, I don't have one up here at my desk. But all of these guys behind me on the wall, they're all hanging on or sitting on the helmet hangers. Yes. That we made. And so when you get one of the authentics, to kind of bridge that price gap a little bit more, yeah. you're going to get a free hook tip. Just giving them away. You're just giving them away. That's and the, good. And the hook, unless you specify yeah. otherwise, we're going to do the hook. So I'm going to rip my face off. Whatever team you buy. Unless it's a Buccaneers. Right, because that would be a little bit ridiculous nice for us to spend all that extra money. Yeah, I hope so. You'll get a black one. You're just gonna get a black one. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So all of the Blaze helmets are, have this special paint job, and uh, depending on who you talk to, so you can helmet, wear it, but you're not meant to. In the industry call it an anodized paint. I kind of okay. Like well, let me see if I can get this off. With the face masks are painted with this color, and the helmets are shells. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. <laughs> other paint jobs, you know, both of these helmets here, these are very nice paint jobs. But what they're doing for these is they're basically adding metallic flake mm -hmm. into the metallic flake. In the Beautiful yellow. metallic yeah. flake yeah. right there. Burgundy. But this this here basically starts off with a silver base, and then kind of has a um, <sighs> a dyed clear coat or translucent layer to, to achieve this blue on top. So there's extra steps. I'm going to be honest, man. That Titans and helmet looks. Purchase just the raw material of, of the silver beautiful. paint that goes into this. Yeah. It's, I think, 10 times or more the price of just regular paint. Good, which it's is very insane. expensive. It's probably a liquid, liquid chrome or liquid metal, I think is what it's called. And they're limited. You're not going to see these. Limited things. edition. Yeah. These, so, but, yeah. Riddell isn't making any more of these. They've already made them all. They were pre-order only, but also, you know, we're not the only ones selling these, but 
you know, this is the only place you're going to go. You can get these with a you know, free visor and these extra decals. But once these sell out, I can't get more. I can't just order more. Right. There aren't any more to be ordered. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Pre-sale only. We had to order these things months and months and months ago. Right. So if you want one, get one now. Yeah. These will not be available once they sell out. That's right. We got it. And I would not be surprised if you start seeing these things on eBay for three, four, five hundred dollars within a year or two. Sure. Sure. Because they can be collectibles. Sure. And next year, Riddell's going to come out with a whole other line. And, you know, who knows what it's going to be then. I'm sure they've got their artists uh, dreaming something up right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's a good comparison. I like it. Yeah. So I'll have links below of where you can go onto our website to purchase these. We'll throw the visor and the decals. If you if you bought one of these helmets from someone else or if you had one for years and you just want to get the flag, you can do that. Uh, if you want to throw a visor in there, you can do that. If you want to change your face mask, you can do that. These are fairly interchangeable, just like a, a, a real helmet. You know, the snaps and the hardware, it's all the same. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, right. So yeah, so that's it. So if you have questions about any of the collectible stuff that we sell, let us, let us know below. What do you want to see? What do you want to hear about? Um, any recommendations for future videos? Yep. Yeah. So until next time, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. We really, really appreciate it. You're yes. doing a phenomenal job of helping us grow this channel. For sure. Uh, and so we're really excited about that. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Jay. We're going to give you a like. I'm already subscribed. Fantastic. All right, guys. That was a little bit of uh, story time, a little bit of learning, a little bit of history on the old Riddell Speed collectible Packers helmet. It weighs 3.9 pounds. You can wear it, but they wouldn't recommend it on an actual football field. And why would I want to wear this on a football field? I would not want to scratch this one bit. It's absolutely phenomenal. Anyways, guys, have an absolute fantastic day or night, wherever you are in the world. I hope you've been enjoying the content. We've hit 100,000 subscribers. I feel amazing about it. Let's continue. That's all I can say. So if you have liked this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. Whoops. And I'll see you guys back here soon. Peace out.